a Netflix book that says we're doing a story on Jeffrey Epstein. Okay. And we want to be on it because we want to present your side of the story. We want to make sure everything you say is presented. They actually have a contract with me saying if I present them with the evidence, they will put it on the air and present my side of the story okay. alongside her side of the story. That's Netflix promise. Um, they have a release in which they say they will not defame me, they will treat me fairly. So then they put it on the air, absolutely refused to run any of the things that I gave them, any of the documents I gave them about her history of lying. They made her seem totally credible. Let me give you another example. There's another woman named Sarah Ransom. This is a very interesting story, Sarah Ransom. They put her on the air as a credible witness. She looks credible. She's a very, very honest looking person. Right. But I had given them Dozens and dozens of emails she wrote to the New York Post in 2016 in the run-up to the last election, in which she says to the journals, she has videotapes of Hillary Clinton, sex tapes of Hillary Clinton having sex with, as a pedophile. She says she has sex tapes of Bill Clinton, of Donald Trump, of Richard Branson. Oh she God. says in these emails, She's afraid that Hillary Clinton has put out a contract on her life by the CIA and that she's now working with the KGB to make sure the two pedophiles who are running for president don't get elected. News, uh, 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 Netflix has this material. I gave it the basic, I didn't give them the emails because they're under seal, but I gave them the story because I had gotten it from the reporter. They refuse to run it. They present her as a credible person without telling the audience that the New York Post refused to report on her emails because it was so clear she was making them up. She ultimately admits to the New Yorker magazine that she invented the whole story and made it up. So Netflix knows that and they don't put that on the air. Firstly, I mean, is Netflix's motive is what? Is, is it? Money, money, money. And yes, I'm suing financial. Money, money, money. Let me say this. I'm suing Netflix for a lot of money, and mm -hmm. I'm going to give them charity. I'm going to create a fund for people who are falsely accused so that they will have the resources to fight back. Why, and why, why is that not you know, widely disseminated? Why is that not better known, Alan? I have tried. Nobody wants to run that story. I have sent that story to every major newspaper in the country, every major media. Nobody wants to run the story. That's why I like to do these podcast interviews because you'll run it but no we'll, we will run it we'll run it, run it. i wrote a piece um saying truth testing netflix five pinocchios couldn't get it published except in a very small website it's unbelievable i sent it to the hollywood reporter i sent it to variety i sent it to uh, los angeles times to a range of newspapers pointing these facts out and they're facts they're not disputable they're facts none of them would run it would you agree right here, and I'm telling you that what we're discussing is going to be run by a major network, would you agree to an open discussion with the CEO of Netflix? Of course, of course, with the CEO of Netflix or with the director of, of the film, anybody who's responsible. I guarantee you they will not accept that offer. Can, can, they will can, hide behind some claim that they don't talk about projects that are on there. Well, they're going to have to talk about it under oath in a court of law because I'm suing them. So you have no problem. Clearly, this is somewhat rhetorical for, um, for us to extend an open invitation to come on the show and have a discussion to dispel. Yeah. Okay. Well, just a simple question. Why did you not include this evidence? Why do you present people as honest when you know, because you have all the information, that they have histories of calling Hillary Clinton a pedophile. We have all the information there, um, and you wouldn't put it on the air. Why? 